Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money, the start of a new week, today Monday and we are opening a new candle on the weekly chart. As I hoped for, the previous week closed in a very, very not so bad, let's put it this way, not so bad way. We had a positive candle, but let's go directly to the charts and see what's happening today for the daily resume. Okay, so we start with the price to time model, as you guys know already. So here we are zooming in for those using phones and these are a lot, I can say. So the previous week finally gave us some signs and we have a green candle for the previous week, not bad. However, today, Monday, and just a few hours into the new week, we have already a red candle and trying to hold again the 33 and a half thousand level. So we continue to be delayed regarding the 2017 cycle, the yellow candle pattern you guys see here, and the blue one is the 2013 bull cycle that, as you guys know, had this middle cycle uh, correction, big correction, 75% of the price before going finally to the top. Uh, the RSI continues to be below the orange dashed line. So you guys know already, I've been waiting for the RSI at least to come back up to the same level as the post 75% correction of the 2013 bull cycle. And this is still not happening. Last week we had some kind of um it was trying so it was going up again but then we started to go down and still getting away from that level so regarding the price to time model we have now a bit of a delay regarding the previous cycle but we are still accumulating above above the previous cycle big correction that happened almost at the same time as we happened this one for the current cycle so that's the price of time model. Uh, let's check the crypto total and the crypto total is still above above the support context, which is the gray box you guys see there. So we are above the box of the previous month and we have a new box this month, but we are still accumulating after retracing back up just next to this big drop we had here. So we broke the support context by a hair, by a small, small amount, and then we immediately retraced back up, inversed the price action, and we are now consolidating above those levels. So the crypto total is still on track to have a second range boundary here at the bottom of the support context and possibly continuing up for a third range boundary that we will have to find uh, in some time, of course, after some time where this could be headed. Uh, the pro momentum tells me that the momentum is reversing. We have signs of a reversal down here. You guys can see the orange line is reversing after being in oversold territory, but we are still at minimum levels and we just had a small, small, small pointing down tip here on the pro momentum. But let's see how this evolves during the week, which is what counts the most. So that's it for the crypto total. Let me go to the MRI strategy and start with the weekly, can, uh, weekly chart. So the weekly chart is again red, but let me just turn off the plottings here. You guys can see that the previous week was not so bad. We had a doji, a green doji by the close of the week following a hammer. Although the hammer was red, so you guys know already, I would much more prefer this hammer to be a green hammer. And for that, we would have just have to close around 37 on that week, 37,000, if I'm not mistaken. No, sorry. To have it green, it would have been enough to close around 35,800, 700 something. Uh, so we would have been, uh, we would have had here a green hammer. However, this was not the case. We closed it as a red hammer. And now the previous week, the one that just closed yesterday, we closed it as a green doji. So the green doji following a hammer usually means that we could have a reversal of the price action to the upside 
of course it would have been much better if this one was a green hammer and this one a green doji but with the close above the hammer so if this if this body of this doji was a bit higher like this for example and this one would have been a green hammer then i'm sure that the indication of price reversal to the upside would have been much more stronger but it wasn't and so we are having a new correction again during this week so let's see if we will find again support on the 50 period sma which is the yellow line coming up here or if we don't need that and we will consider this the new low the last swing low as a new bottom considering only those two weeks and we will continue going up slowly from here or in some accumulation more accumulation just going up and down for some more time so i would not like to see another test of the 50 sma because i tell you guys the more we test the sma the worse it becomes and uh the weaker this will become also the support of the sma so i would much more prefer to have a reversal of the price action exactly where we are right now than having a new test of this moving average okay so that's it for the weekly chart the rsi the volume continues to go down declining a bit uh, i've been watching closely the volume on binance and coinbase and i can tell you guys that until yesterday we were trading more or less on average half the volume that usually these exchanges have as a daily volume trade trade volume sorry so the rsi is going sideways uh neutral completely neutral in this case the macd however shows continues to show some signs of recovery and you guys see that even this week having this new bar the bar has uh, a small gap as compared to the previous one indicating that the body of the bar is smaller and so indicating also that we are going in the right way however the blue line and the orange line continue to show the same gap as before this has not been uh, decreased by any means so very 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 slight sh uh, signs of going towards the bullish case but still in a bearish case right now so that's the weekly uh, chart let me take a look at the daily and this was a chart that i was enjoying a bit uh, during the previous week and um, so we have we continue to have the lower lows the and the lower sorry this was the last swing low today i'm a bit crazy um and then we have a higher low and then we have a higher low we continue to maintain this as the higher low and if we reverse the price action around here and don't drop again to the downside it might be possible that we continue to have higher lows and probably break the resistances of the moving averages here on the daily but the rsi is now pointing down the macd looks a bit bullish uh, not bad not bad for the macd but the bars are very very low and the distance between the blue line and the orange line is very very short very small so i would say that this chart is sitting on the fence and it would be very easily to become a bearish chart if we continue to drop from the current prices so uh we are still undecided on the daily we just don't have a after this one this was the last time we had a count with an mri bottom it didn't work but we um we have been having this um let me just turn on the plottings we had this uh, small cup here and this was probably to be a handle but it's now becoming very very uh the candle itself is becoming big so the body of the candle is growing and i don't like it as a cup and handle anyway this was a cup and handle that was plotted on the four hour chart which we will just go next and <clears throat> sorry for that as you guys can see the cup and handle should have been stopped there which is about 50 percent of the size of the cup and we continue to the downside and now facing resistance of the 100 period sma which is the red line 
there so we are trying to get back up but this is now being resistance and i don't like that also so not a good way to start the week but however we have a fact here that i uh like somewhat like much more than all the other signals we have been having uh so this is the bullish divergence that we have been talking about and let me just go back to the daily chart so you guys can see it better the bullish divergence down here on the rsi so we never crossed this trend line on the rsi to the downside and this has been the bullish divergence to the top of the triangle that you guys have here which has been the average movement of the price action going slowly down uh, to this point where we are right now however the rsi has been going up being supported by this trend line now if you go back to the four hour chart you guys will see that with this drop that we had since this morning the rsi exactly touched that trend line and went back up again so this is one of the things I like about this bullish divergence and the trend line on the RSI. Uh, the fact that we did not cross the trend line to the downside is a very, very good signal that we might be having this trend for some more time until finally we have a price reversal to the upside. So let's see how this goes. And I hope we break the resistance of these two moving averages soon as we broke them back here. But also I wanted to point out, I just missed, I just missed my forecast for the cup and handle for a bit. So you guys remember the first time I presented this cup and handle to you guys on the four hour chart, we were having the price around here, I guess around this candle, the red one here or the MRI bottom. I can't remember exactly, but I remember that one of the videos, maybe two, three videos ago, I showed you guys, I plotted this cup here and the price action went exactly, exactly as predicted, but I just missed it by one candle, one candle. So if I had plotted this around here, we would have been very, very close to the, to the high point of this swing high and then forming the handle here however the handle is now too big and i missed the cup by one candle so i have to i have to train this better next time but at least we had an idea of what was going to happen and if from here we start to go up again and we break this finally we break this level of the 36400 I guess even having a big handle here, I don't give a shit about that. And I much prefer the price action to go up. And actually the cup and handle would have uh, resulted in a good thing, a good positive thing. So that's it for the four hours. The BitMEX funding rate is of course very, very, very negative. We are now at 0.11 and the premium is also negative. And even the shorts are below the threshold, which is the blue part of this uh of this bar on the bitmax funding rate as you guys can see down there okay so that's it uh let me check the dollar so i want to see the dollar and the dollar is really acting strange so this might be one of the reasons that bitcoin went down from this morning till now uh the dollar has been trying to recover however my trend line has been sending the dollar down and it has been really good resistance but now this new candle for the week as you guys can see here on the price the new candle which is the next one here this one uh, has been exactly on top of that trend line so we still don't know what's going to happen if the trend line will um create this big resistance to the dollar sending it down again or if the dollar finally will be able to break out of this trend and that of course will affect bitcoin in a negative way and it's probable that we will see lower prices for bitcoin if the dollar continues to go up so i uh, really hope the trend line will actually send the dollar back down probably even uh, breaking the supports of the 50 and the 20 periods smas here uh, and in a few weeks we could be testing again this support on the dollar around the 90 on the dixie so that's it for the dollar not much to see here gold gold again is trying to fight its way up 
so we have been fighting with the trend line here we formed this doji almost a hammer but it's still a doji and then we went down but we finally got back up again above the trend line and we are now trying to fight the resistance of the 20 period sma on the weekly so the dollar maintains the trend line and is fighting for its life around here not to go below the trend which would be a disaster but i guess the dollar will be able to maintain the trend line and probably reverse to the upside so that's it and the smp of course you guys know already i i discussed this last week we were going down and i was thinking that we would find support on the 20 period sma however in a big turn back here uh turn around here we went back up and this week started with the smp above the trend line again so if the smp closes this week above the trend line we are really really going to reach the edge of this wedge and uh who knows what might happen if this would be a complete disaster for the summer or not and if the smp cannot hold this trend line here um, this will be not good for Bitcoin too, so let's see what happens on the S&P because they are really correlated in, in a very direct way. So let's see, let's see what happens. But I am already focusing on this new week and following all the charts to see what's happening. And of course, I will tell you guys as soon as something really, really important happens. So regarding my long term view of bitcoin and the uh, elliot waves count we are still going for the fifth wave i hope and i hope because we could still find a new low for the fourth wave but if we don't uh, if we are able to sustain this level and continue to accumulate or even reverse the price action to the upside i believe we are going for a fifth wave and you guys know that is what uh, counts in elliott wave count so let's see what happens there so that's it for today's video a very very uh, short and concise uh, focused only on what's happening today and of course i didn't want to go without showing you guys the cup and handle that i was trying to find here uh, I'm glad I came close, however I just don't like the size of the handle. I would prefer that the handle would stop around the 50 period SMA, the yellow, the yellow SMA you guys see there, and we could have had a reversal of the price action around here. That would be a perfect cup and handle. However, being a 4-hour chart, it's not so relevant because it has to fight the dailies and the weeklies chart, and they are much more relevant for the price action. So uh, I will leave you guys with this idea. Let's see how this evolves. If we can break the uh, resistances here on the four hour chart of the 100 period SMA and the 50 period SMA just after that one. I hope so. So let's stop the screen share. If you guys enjoy this content, of course, don't forget to gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel and also touch the bell icon notification select all if you want to be notified every time i upload a video or i start a live stream you guys know the drill already and now i will just leave you guys with the wise words that usually we give everyone at the end of the video all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there that's it guys let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets i will see you guys tomorrow with another update bye bye